assalamu alaikum class 8 welcome to the online mathematics video this is your mathematics teacher sir nasser and in this video we are going to discuss some more question of exercise 10.8 last time also we have seen some of the question of exercise 10.8 in which we are using two particular formulas one of which is a square plus 2ab plus b square which is equal to a plus b the whole square and second one is a square minus 2ab plus b square which is equals to a minus b the whole square okay so basic the information which this formula give us is that if you have an expression which has first square of the first term and square of the second term and if there is a multiplication of two with the first term and the second term in the middle then you can simplify and write them in the form of their addition and the square okay so wherever we get a question in this form we will convert it and factorize it and make it simple in the form a plus b the whole square directly okay so the question we are which we are going to have a look at is question number 14 exercise 10.8 is on page number 98 and we are going to discuss question number 14 the question number 14 is similar to the previous question but the only difference is that the middle term is not as simple as it was for the previous questions we have a square of the first term the last term is also a perfect square like i can square this one upon four make it a perfect square one upon two the whole square but the thing which is missing from here is the 2ab part okay the 2ab part is missing over here if i want to use the formula i should have this in the form of 2ab so what I will do over here, I will try to adjust the middle term in such a way that I can get my 2ab over here. Okay, without adding anything additionally, without crossing any mathematics rule, I will try to adjust it and make it in the form of 2ab. Let me write it down and then you will understand it more clearly. So what I have done in the first step, I have introduced a 2, multiplied the middle term with the 2 and 1 upon so what I have done over here, I have multiplied the middle term with a 2 and multiplied with 1 upon 2. So basically this 2 and 1 upon 2, they will cancel each other and this way I have not added anything to the middle term. But by writing this in it in this form, I have made it similar to the formula which we are going to use over here. Okay, and that formula is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So if you compare a step with the formula, you can see that we have made this in the form of a formula and the formula says that if you have an expression in this form you can write it in a simple form which is first term plus last term the whole square so here we have first term is y square last term is 1 upon 2 square okay here also we had a square and b square so when we had a square and b square we wrote a plus b the whole square so when we have y square and 1 upon 2 square, so what we will write? We will write y plus 1 upon 2 the whole square. Okay. So this way I have formed it in the form of a formula and used it. So whenever you get such type of question, how will you identify an exam? Look at the first term and last term and think whether you can adjust the middle term or not. Whether you can make it in the form of the formula or not. Similarly, we have a question number 15. Let us, have, let us have a look at that. It is x square minus 2 plus 1 upon x square. Similarly, we can say that we have a first term square. We have a square of the last term. We have 2 in the middle. Okay. So, think if you want to make it according to the formula, you should have 2ab. Okay. In the like type of 2ab in between. So, here 2ab for this question will be 2x multiplied by 1 upon x okay 2x and 1 upon x let me write the formula you will get it more clear so what i have done i have added an x and 1 upon x like i have multiplied x and 1 upon x so basically this x and this x they are cancelling each other so i have not i have not added anything i have not break any mathematics rule i have just added x and 1 upon x so because of doing this this is getting comparable to the formula okay i can now easily compare it to the formula please try to understand it look at the formula look at the question why am i doing this i am doing this to make it to the form of the formula so that i can use it so that i can use a formula and make the expression simpler 
make the expression i can factorize the expression by doing all this okay by using the formula i can factorize it simply now you see previous question the middle term was positive we use the positive formula in this question it is negative so we are using the negative formula and that is why see the first term the last term the square of the first term the square of the last term if it is a square and b square we write a minus b so if it is x square and 1 upon x square we'll write x minus 1 upon x the whole square okay so quite similar to the previous questions just we have a small change in the middle term over here okay so i hope the video was useful and keep practicing and take care and allah hafiz